Hey, how's it going everybody? Newcastle Ninja here. And what I have for you today is a knife that was and has been one of my grail knives to get for the longest time. Ever since I got in the original version that is in D2 uh, and G10, this is the best tech kendo. And this one here is in green titanium and S35VN steel. It's a little more pricier than the D2 version naturally, but that's why it took so long for me to finally decide to get it. I had the opportunity in White Mountain Knives, you can get that pretty considerable discount with it. And I did just recently see um, some great videos from Hazard502, so be sure to check out his channel. He is a Best Tech Kendo lover and has some really great content there. So seeing that and re-sparking my interest in getting it, I did. Now overall, we're looking at 8.23 inches and the blade itself is three and a half, 3.51 inches to be exact. Blade width is 0 0.138 inches and the handle is 4.72. Handle width is about a half inch and the weight is 4.4 ounces. Now, my original that I had here, which I actually did a die job of a tan one and some milling of my own, and this is the D2. And ever since I got it, I was like, man, one day, one day I'll get one of these. And I was torn a bit to decide which one I wanted to get because you can get this in an all gray titanium. You can get it also gray with like a what they call the uh, tiger stripe, which has got the lines in it. Hazard 502 has a, a video of that one there worth checking out. And there was a blue titanium, which I believe has been discontinued, but I'd seen the green and I was like, man, that is really, really popping. It's, it's just a real work of art. And I really think that the best tech kendo and titanium just never really got the buzz it, that it deserved along with another grail knife of mine, uh, the our artisan cutlery Hyper Hyperion. Just never see enough about it and as nice as it really is. And uh, just going over this here, it's got really smooth ball bearing action. You got the decent jimping there, flies right out. And look at that satin grind. And that traditional Tonto point is just an immaculate blade and it's a sharp one too and the contouring of these handles is very comfortable and it's really a just really breathtaking knife and very pocket friendly and it's got very decent lockup nice titanium clip that seems to screw from with inside and you can see the milling in there too. It is really just a beauty. I'm so glad I finally pulled the trigger to get this one. And I can't rave enough about it. Don't know if I'm gonna get the other ones in the collection because I am quite content with this color here. But um, got the new background here just to show you a little bit. I got a, it's a cutting board. And I figured you can just do a nice little uh, push there. Yeah, that was nothing. And of course you can do like so and it just goes right through. Not a problem. Let's see if I can do a double. I'm sure I can. I'll just go four. Doing double this way. And yep. It's quite a user. Let's see if I can do the, uh, the old paper slice. Yeah, it just glides right through. Kind of doing this blind with the one hand, but uh, just showing with such a thin sheet of paper that this uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works catalog is. But yeah, a little bit of cardboard here, no problem. So give you a once over real quick of this here. You even got a lanyard hole. And like the original side-by-sides, 
has the same kind of like design of milling and so forth, but in hand, so comfortable. You got a little bit of jimping there on the ramp, but this is just so form fitting and just a breathtaking, beautiful knife. And I'm so glad I got it. So there you go. Finally, Best Tech Kendo in Green Titanium. Another grail knife to scratch off the bucket list, or at least the wish list that I have on uh, White Mountain Knives. <laughs> and again, big shout out to Hazard502. Thanks for putting out your content of this and re-sparking my interest to finally make this dream come true. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.